Tonight we have the first confirmed case of the year of West Nile virus in Georgia. Health officials say it's that time of year for folks to begin taking precaution to protect their livestock and themselves. ABC 27's Patty Santos reports. We have automatic waters to make sure that the, the water stays relatively fresh. It's not incredibly warm at all. It's, it's still relatively cool. So that's Summer for Sarah McCusick is a time when she works extra hard to keep her 12 horses healthy. She's constantly looking for any signs of illnesses. Abnormal behavior, just standing around, tongue kind of hanging out, ears floppy. The Havana resident says tiny mosquitoes bring in big worries over the West Nile virus and the Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus. Anytime there's a, a water trough that's not being used, I dump it out. Um, buckets don't get left sitting upwards because otherwise they'll, you know, accumulate water and mosquitoes lay their eggs on top. Just across the border, Georgia has confirmed its first case this year of West Nile virus on a horse. Florida's Chief Bureau of Entomology and Pest Control Michael Page says the state does not have any reported cases, but this is only the beginning. Well, the mosquitoes are a uh, part of Florida. When people come here, they live in paradise. The mosquitoes live here too. Page says a lack of rain is helping to keep the mosquito population down, but just one rainfall could spike those numbers. Although it's sometimes a little bit warm in the evenings, it, it's good to cover your, your body, your, cover your skin as much as possible and wear a, a good repellent. Pets can also be protected. For McCusick, it means making sure the horse's shots are up to date. Now is the is definitely either the, the start of the vaccination period if you hadn't already had it done. The troughs, you can see it's green August already. is the peak of mosquito season. McCusick is on guard until the end of summer. In Havana, Patty Santos, ABC 27 HD. 22